Hey guys, this is Lewis. Welcome back to Stone with Eight Problems. On today's episode, we will be going through my legs B workout. Now, uh, today's workout obviously started with the hack squat. Uh, this is honestly only the second time in my whole life that I've used said machine. So slowly building up the weight on that. Uh, the previous gym that I was going to did not have said machine. Um, I had to alternate it with uh, goblet squats, which I got pretty heavy. But yeah, this is uh, going to hack squats uh, as to grass. And definitely feels great. Great quad pump. This is obviously the quad portion of my leg workout. So that was a primer set with 25 on each side. And then for the work each set, I threw 10s on each side. And like I said before, it's all about range of motion and depth. Uh, I am going to be quite honest with you. I did not like too much um, the pausing that I did at towards the end of this uh, of this set. Uh, to be quite honest with you, I, I think I paused too much. Uh, kind of lost some of the time under tension. But so definitely going to keep this weight and see if I can you know rep it out a little bit quicker next time around. But it feels great, a uh, great way to start the leg, a uh, great way to start your leg day, get the blood rushing, get woken up. Um, I do hit the gym quite early, early than most people, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And, uh, but yeah, this is a great workout. You do need ankle mobility, and I said hip mobility as well to really get all the way down there. But as you can see right now, I am pausing a bit too much. It, it, it's too much, like a second or two is fine, but yeah, I really did not like uh, the the constant pausing and taking a few deep breaths. Just it, it, it didn't sit right with me this this set. So definitely gonna try it again. Even though I did get eight reps, um, just didn't like it. Uh, it. You know, it is what it is. So on to Bulgarian split squats. Now I do place myself right in front of the bench just in case I start losing stability, so I can place my hand on one of the dumbbells. Because I don't want my core or anything to be the limiting factor, me being able to pull off this exercise. Um, this is the primer set. This is a 25 pound dumbbell. I was able to get eight reps on each leg. But yeah, I'm still having difficulty finding my balance with this exercise. I haven't really been doing it for very long. It does give you a great, a great pump though. Um, obviously, the shorter, if you're doing a short range like I am, it's obviously going to be more quad focused, basically like a lunge. And if you go a little bit wider, obviously, it's going to take over. Well, your hamstrings and your glutes are going to take over, but that's obviously not what I want to do. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is fucking a great workout. I definitely got a great pump. Now, on to the next, the actual working set, which is 45 pounds. I was able to get 12 reps. Uh, the right leg hit fantastic i was actually able to do it pretty well pretty streamlined you know great control up and down you know um probably gonna pause a little bit towards the end a little bit more as well this is always a great thing about also recording yourself not just for youtube but uh, just kind of looking back and be able to look at your technique look at your form being uh, you know obviously you have to look at it constructively and objectively but um it's great to record yourself you know now it just doesn't have to be for TikTok or doing what i'm doing but if you really want to get your form down and everything, um, th this definitely helps to get a playback. Because as you can see, once we get to my left leg, my whole core is absolutely shot at this point. Like, I don't know what happened. My, it was definitely not my legs, but my core, my stabilizing muscles were all worn out. We're all gassed out with my right leg. I was able to get 12 reps. I'm definitely moving up in weight next week. Probably going to hit 50s. You know, slowly, incrementally going up, progressive overload. But yeah, this is the, the, you're gonna see right here why I place my hand on the dumbbells, why I get close to the rack, because it's just I don't know for some reason I just can't seem to stand upright. Like obviously it's gonna take practice and repetition, because as I stated earlier, um, I just recently started performing this exercise or implementing it into my workout routine. But yeah, so I did good solid six reps. I stopped at the bottom, gave myself like a second or two to compose and just placed my hand there and repped it out. I'm not pushing with my hands. It's just to make sure that, you know, I'm not falling. I'm not tipping over because I really want my quads to be the limiting factor, not my core to be the limiting factor. And like I said, to be, yeah, to be able to pull this off correctly. 
So on to another machine that I've recently started implementing, which is a unilateral hammer strength seated leg press. Um, I can't say enough good things about this gym. Uh, I'm glad that I'm able to diversify with progressive overload by implementing these new machines. This is a great machine. Um, uh, this is basically my priming set with a 45 and a 10 on each side. Um, I pause at the bottom and then I explode up and I slowly come back down. That slow concentric burns my freaking quads. It feels freaking awesome. Um, I was able to get six reps on this because you really don't want to be wasting any glycogen stores, any energy on these fluff sets. You know, it's all about priming your legs, priming the muscles that you're going to be targeting for the actual work and set because we are practicing progressive overload here. So good solid six reps through another 10 on each side was able to get a good 10. Uh, but yeah, like as, as you can see, I pause all the way at the bottom. I don't allow any sort of it, um, energy or, uh, or inertia or you know gravity to give me that that bounce you know i don't want to be bouncing i want it to be pure quad movement i want to be pure quad muscles that are going to be pushing to and back um, on this movement so like I, like I said in the first video you are going to hit less weight and less reps but this is like to me the purest way to do it you know you're not cookie cutty this is not you know pussy shit this ain't no fucking um you know just jerking around the movement just to put it on Instagram. You know, at the end of the day, fuck your ego. We're here to make some freaking gains. So, like I said, a good solid 10 reps on each side. Definitely going to move up as well. Um, my legs are just hyper responders to this sort of workout routine that I've been implementing. My legs just absolutely dominate my body, which is a good problem to have, to, obviously. Uh, but, yeah, definitely going to move up. This is a great machine. I'm glad that they have this sort of you know, machine to be able to implement because it feels great. And I do one leg on each side. I haven't tried it with both legs, but I'm going to keep it like this, you know, just so I can make sure that there's no discrepancies and make sure now one leg is getting bigger than the other. They're both getting work uh, at the same time. That's why I also do a lot of dumbbell work as well, just to make sure that there's no uh, asymmetry going on in my physique. So we're done with that. 10, 10 reps. Good good as working set i'm pretty proud of it now we're on to the seated leg press this was a disappointing one <laughs> to say the least this is supposed to be a priming set but by the time i got to like rep two or three i was like oh shit this is heavy as fuck <laughs> so i only was able to get a good solid seven reps with a quarter and a ten on each side so uh these are this is obviously this is really i'm focusing a lot on the hamstrings that's why i kind of cave out my hips um, I have my feet flared out as well just so I can focus purely on my hamstrings and my glutes in order to be able to pull off this exercise uh, this is a great way to do it I honestly feel like I didn't prime enough like I felt like oh you know like my dumbass was thinking oh I'm, my legs are warmed up already with all the quad movements um, I won't need much priming for my hamstrings but once I got to this point I was like damn I did not warm up my hamstrings enough to be able to pull off all this weight wasn't satisfied with that set did a back offset took the tens off and was only able to get a good solid what six seven reps on this on on this set um, so definitely going to try this again and be a little bit more smart in my approach to get it to that top set but this is another great exercise I'm, like i said i'm just glad that i'm able to implement so many new machines this gym is absolutely amazing not only is it open 24 7 but they've got great choices um to help you on your bodybuilding journey so yeah i was able to get here you know it's all about depth at least i was able to hit depth but yeah this shit was heavy as a motherfucker <laughs> um another exercise that i'm just gonna have to try again but you know it is what it is and that's why you log just to make sure that you don't you know you don't skip or you don't miss out on anything so now on to see the leg seated leg curls i do like to get to the front and hold and brace on the machine just so i could get a great contraction at the bottom at the peak of the movement i was only able to record one one uh set this is my primary set of 130 pounds is because that padding was annoying the shit out of me bro like the last uh, the, i don't know what was going on i'm still trying to find my way around these machines so like i said i like to get myself in the in the front but I, the padding was just 
interfering with my quads. I just wasn't able to get a good movement there. So I was only unfortunately going to be able to record one uh, set for that exercise. But I do love seated leg curls. They feel fantastic on the hamstrings. Now, this is the meat and potatoes of the hamstrings. Romanian deadlifts. If you're not using doing Romanian deadlifts, you are seriously missing out on some serious hamstring gains. Um, this is this is my field set. I pre- I recorded my three sets on this exercise because by this time your hamstrings are pretty fired up. Um, I still take my time because I like to lift extremely heavy on these ex- on the on this exercise. Sorry. So I started off with a plate with six reps. Great control at the bottom. Pause. Explode up. So, you know, I'm pretty proud with the range of motion, obviously, you know, and like I said, no hurricane or jerking because I feel like once I start doing that, like going up and down really quickly is when I'm going to I start developing some nasty back pumps. So on to the priming set, I threw another 10 on each side. So this is 155 pounds for four reps. Uh, like I said, the whole point of progressive overload is not to gas out on every single set, just to get blood in there, just to get the motor function um, ready for the heavy set so i only pulled four reps on this um it felt easy felt good so i really did not want to waste any more energy because you know it is not my working set so but this feels great like i do love romanian deadlifts i feel like i have my spinal erectors are overly developed which is a good thing obviously because of how much deadlifting i do i just love deadlifts i love the feeling i love the pump so um now on to the mean the the actual working set 185 pounds i was able to pull it off for eight reps um felt great like i said i'm pausing at the bottom making sure i'm not using any inertia any energy and gravity to allow me to push the weight back up um i was i, I did get eight reps like i said uh Three more reps than my last than my last week, so it, this is a great work. Like my body just responds extremely well to this. On the fifth rep, I did have to like stop a little bit, get my grip back, because I do suicide man grip on this as well. It's just I just get a great mind muscle connection when I use that grip on my exercises. So great working set, pretty proud of myself. And now this is the last exercise at Doctor's Machine, just so I could get that 3D look on my legs. You know, gotta fill that thigh gap. Uh, this was my working set of 120 pounds for 12 reps, I believe. Uh, felt pretty good. I keep it a high reps. I don't want to destroy my hips trying to lift too goddamn heavy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, thank you guys so much again for watching. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys get inspired to go hit the fucking gym and make some goddamn gains because it's fucking great. It's, I, I'm, I'm really glad that I'm able to look at myself back and see the gains, bro. See the gains. So... Till next time, guys. Hope you all have a great day. And till next time, peace.